Hi, I'm Luke Sierveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today I'm with uh, Alan Steinheimer and we're going to talk light mats and Aladdin. So we've got uh, two light mats and one Aladdin. We're actually being illuminated by a 200 watt Aladdin, but um, uh, that's neither here nor there. So uh, why don't we start from the smallest form factor? Sure, we have um, uh, the light mat one uh, that people call the four. Uh, and this version of it is the four plus. Uh, one of the many frustrating things of being a gaffer is this is basically their third generation. Uh, and so I've actually had to get rid of all the other stuff um, because the jump from the second light mat four to the four plus was from 12 volt to 24 volt. They actually decided to finally use a better, more robust uh, connector. Um, and then it's not compatible, of course, with any of the other equipment that you had that was based on 12 volts. So it was the same form factor, just less output and totally different balance and everything. Yeah, so this is approximately, the 4 Plus is approximately 40% brighter, at least, it seems to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems to cross that threshold of like, ooh, is that bright enough to... Uh, actually, you know, we can dim that down a little bit. Nice. So, and this is pretty much, I don't use this a lot for a key, but I use mm -hmm. it uh, on many shoots, maybe 50% of my shoots as a backlight. Okay. Because it's so light, yep. that's one of the main advantages of all three of these products is that yep. they're so light, they're easy to rig. Um, the ballast is separate, so all the weight's on the stand. Um, so it works out in that regard. Interchangeable diffusion, we have the half grid up right now, bicolor, I don't know why you would order a straight up one color unless you were yeah. had a fixed situation or something. Right. The one one of the complaints I have, I actually have a couple of complaints, but <laughs> one I don't like. It's like the handle's too short uh, for one. Um, and this is fairly clever that they actually have a plate so you can hold the power supply onto one of the battery slots. Okay, so, so you have... If you go to batteries, gotcha, yeah. you have two 12-volt batteries that gang together and become 24-volt. Okay, so the, the AC adapter has a, a, a battery a V-mount, so you can go to that. But if you ran this off batteries, you'd need two batteries. That's correct. Yeah. Um, the one thing I don't like in particular is the knobs are basically tiny little numbers here, uh, which, you know, we can see at this point, but when you're in a dark set uh, and you're, you're having to whip out a flashlight or your phone to, you know, actually see the numbers, I do like the fact that they push in so I can sort of dial in color and then leave the dim function out, uh, which is my typical deal. And then they have high and low, there's the low output. Right. Um, and a uh, little indicator light. There's some other features with the little uh, trigger thing. I've never done them, so right. I couldn't really tell you anything about it. I do find this a little bit awkward, but at least they gave you a handle. Uh, yeah, and so. they, they marry up uh, pretty yeah. well. Okay, and then, so that's, uh, is that ostensibly uh, 400 watts, or where would um, that be? This, I think they call it the 200. Yeah, this is oh. the 200 ballast. Okay. Oh, that, okay. Sorry, forgot one of the major things here. No <laughs> DMX. What? I was thinking there was going to be DMX on this yep. version. I ordered them up and they came and it was like, where's the DMX? None. So no, no hardwire DMX and no Wi-Fi, obviously. That's right. Okay. So uh, the basically, as far as I can tell, the company line is if you need DMX ability with light mat 4, you have to bump up and buy the bigger ballast right here, which is actually uh -huh. capable of running two light mat fours uh -huh. or one uh, light mat eight plus. Uh, okay. And they actually have repackaged this for the Hudson Spider Light and um, I think a few other, the light tiles also run off of this. So this will power up a four by eight? No, I think a two by eight, I thought. Maybe it does power up a four by eight. Um, Hmm. Anyway, it does work for light tile as well. So, right, right. Um, so it's a it's a clunker. It's but, pretty big. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a thing. But it does have DMX. Um, uh, but not Wi-Fi. Uh, yes. So there's no lumen radio, just uh, hardwire five-pin DMX. That's right. Okay, and this is 400 watts. So this is twice the 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 uh, the wattage, 
and okay. it does have the power supply built in. I guess their theory is you're not going to be going battery once you get to the bigger, you know, power sources. Right, and then you just run along head cable to wherever you're rigging. That's right. Yeah. And okay. uh, the one other, uh, in addition to coming out with a PL7 uh, connector right here, which is definitely way better than those old PL3s that they used to use, um, mm -hmm. uh, they also came out with a 24-foot uh, version as well as a 12-foot, uh, which I like because sometimes the 12 is enough, not all the time. Right. You can also gang these together, um, so just a, a better connector altogether. Right. Right. Okay. And these are interchangeable with the light mat eight and also with the light tile. Right. Same cable, same connector. So n now they're kind of getting all their ducks in a row kind of thing. It's all working out. It's all the same kind of system. Uh, but that's still, uh, without, without DMX. DMX. All right. Uh, so then we come to the three by three and what is, what actually, what is the uh, well, dimension? We surprisingly discovered, thanks to your tape measure this morning, <laughs> I always assumed this was two by four. Mm -hmm. It's actually two by 40 inches. Okay. And then I actually, actually assumed, is it 24? So oh. it's 20. Okay. 20 by 20 by 40. Yep. Yeah. And I assumed that the light mat eight, was going to be four by four, but right. indeed it is 40 by 40 as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So in, in some ways good because it's a, a form factor that can get into more places. Um, I, I yeah. a couple things, one, it fits in my car, yeah. 48 inches does not fit in a lot of cars. Yeah. And the other thing is a four by four frame in front of this, if you want to double break, double diffuse something, uh, actually yep. would Work. cover the light. Yep. So yep. I'm, yep. I'm actually liking the size. Yeah, uh, I, I like that size too. Uh, and then in the middle, we've got a three by three. So this is the Aladdin. Uh, so it's a South Korean uh, company. And uh, three by three form factor, they have a 200 watt version. That's what's lighting us uh, with nothing in front of it. And then this is uh, the 350 watt version. Uh, so 350 watts, and this is also a light grid, and this silly thing. That is a lot of gack there. Yeah. If you're just going battery, then you don't need these two AC adapters, and then you have two batteries, so just like that, where you'd have the two batteries to, to run it, uh, because it is a 24-volt system. Uh, if you're going AC, then you have this little configuration and they give you uh well see i can't even get to it because i had to create uh, a, a little adapter to put this uh, piece on else it's just like something that you could hang but it has this small little cable it's really kind of silly um, we made an adapter for their place that you would put this I don't know if you put it upside down or what, but I don't know. It didn't make sense. Now it makes some sense. You can pull these off, and so they make these cool, cool little adapters, um, which is nice. Uh, but uh, in some ways, I wish it just had one AC adapter like that. Then I could click that onto one side, and then I could put an adapter on this and click it onto the other side. And then that would make more sense to me. Um, but you have a smaller AC adapter and then you have to plug them both in. Anyway, it does break down to a smaller form factor, I guess, when you're packing it. Uh, the, the real upside of a unit like this is that it folds down to, you know, basically a, a, a clipboard size unit so this all folds because these are actually on a hard a chloroplast i believe right and this is actually just a fabric fabricy uh yeah thing that's so if we oh, i guess we get to spin it so this is a uh, fabric and it, it breaks down to this size so i have it here um you know attached to a three by three frame but uh you can also have like a breakdown frame you know, like a, a, a Chimera uh, uh, 
breakdown frame. I actually put it to a 48 by 48 inch frame because that breaks down to two foot by two foot. Uh, whereas the 42 inch frame doesn't break down small enough. So oddly, uh, I, I still want to design a, like a square tube frame that breaks down where I can have a pin in the middle. Uh, so I'm still working on that. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, anyway, 350 watts. So more wattage than that. We'll, we'll run the meter on it later, see if, you know, how they compare. Uh, and then um, bump up a little bit in size and, and you go to the, uh, the 8 plus. So what can you tell yeah, us about 8 plus land? Well, um, so like, like, yeah, the same design, Velcro diffusion, same uh, frame here that Velcro's in, um, virtually basically two light mat floors. Yeah. Um, what's interesting, they came out with the light tiles uh, in two by eight sizes uh, a while back with this ballast. Um, and I, I looked at a couple of my colleagues bought them and they ended up making a typical configuration was four by eight. Mm -hmm. And they made frames out of aluminum, but with steel corners and they were big and pretty heavy. And it's like, ah, you know, most of my work is in a smaller market. Yeah. It's not that often someone's asking for a four by eight light that's right. sort of heavy. Uh, and so I, I held back on that. Yeah. Um, and then ideally, really, I'd like to have a rectangular light. You know, I don't right. really like square lights that much. That's yeah. why I love the light mat four. Right. So if you had a little bit, yeah. Right. It's just not an option right now from light gear. So, but the eight came out and just like the four, um, it's a fairly easy to rig, fairly lightweight. They came out with a slightly beefier mm -hmm. uh, backing connector, uh, but it still can go on a baby stand. It's not that heavy. You could also grab it with a gobo head right here for right. rigging in the air. Yep. Um, and it does take uh, the same size. So you could actually put one of the Kino backing plates that basically Kino and, uh, and the light uh, mat ones are the same size, same uh, ratcheting in uh, right. bayonet. Um, so I haven't used it a whole lot. Um, theoretically, it should be twice as bright as the light mat four, and now I can DMX stuff. Right. The other, the other thought I had was, well, now that I have this ballast, I may be able to go ahead and occasionally DMX my light mat four, especially when you know lights are hung up in the back or you, right. you know, you have everything else on DMX except for the one light. It's like you're really yeah. wanting to just put it all into that luminaire, you know, thing, so you can just change things right at camera, look at the monitor, not have someone looking in the dark trying to fiddle with the little knobs. Totally. So, yeah. So that was part of my thought that I'm going to sort of steal this occasionally use it with a light mat 4. I know other people ordered this with the light mat 4 just to have DMX. Right, right. Yeah, wow, that's quite a commitment though, huh? <laughs> um, so then the other thing I would say is um, uh, what light mat has going for it is is this, you know, whole little, um, what do they call it, a poly skirt? You yeah. know, it, it collapses well. Uh, does this collapse in half too? It does. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, this doesn't look like it. This one does, though. Yeah, no, it does. Oh, really? Oh, wait. Uh, no, they, so they made it like it, uh, it collapses on two sides in half. Oh, I got So gotcha. it becomes a fairly compact thing. It is 40 right. inches long, but yeah. uh, it is compact. Right. And then you have that large carry case. That's right. Yeah. The okay. case is sort of big. Yeah. They actually put a second handle on it, so you actually reach through the one handle and grab the one in the middle of the case actually fairly smart. It's one thing where this is more of a mobile deal because you're going to break it down a lot smaller into a case that's like this yeah rather than a case that's yeah like that. Okay. Here's so here's what I've actually done when I've been carrying this is putting my arm through there and grabbing oh. the bottom handle. I don't know if that's actually in the instructions right. that way but <laughs> it does work. Yeah so. so flip it around a sec. That's a and big case. Yeah. So you put the, the main unit in there, and then you've got two places? What, what's that for? Uh, well, theoretically, uh, I guess you could uh, get two of the um, honeycombs, or oh, yeah. I don't know if they sell a honeycomb for this. 
Right. Uh, they do sell a uh, snap grid. Okay. Um, so you can put a snap, a regular snap grid on. So this is all DOP choice uh, stuff on here. Yeah. But this is made by like here? This is, but the snap grid is made by DOP, okay. made to fit onto here. Sure, sure. And so that, I do have one. Could, I didn't bring it today, so we can't really right. demo so that. So you could do but, a hard grid, and then ballast goes here, and then cables yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and cable and um, diffusion. diffusion. Sure. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got this big thing. Yeah. So you're not traveling with this. You're just no. putting it in a truck. I think, I mean, I know you've bought some of the Aladdin stuff. The main advantage I can see is that basically for travel, yep. this this would be the light. You know, it right, just right. gets so small. Yeah. Uh, to travel and then gets relatively large uh, as a key source. Right. So. But these are so uh, quick and handy. Why don't we put these out there and then we'll, we'll do some readings. Okay. Of all these units, um, our uh, light mat four was at? 40 foot candles. 40 foot candles. Then the eight by was at 60. So sort of one and a half, uh, not double. That's right. And then our 3x3 three three Aladdin was at uh, 55. Yeah, so 40, 60, and 55. Is okay. that correct? Yeah, so 55 foot yeah. candles. So the 3x3 three three, um, didn't lose that much from the 40x40. 40 40. Uh, but anyway, different emitters. And, and also, like the we notice that the light mat has their you know blue and warm emitters right next to each other, whereas Aladdin has them spaced like an inch apart kind of thing. Uh, so it's, it's sort of a different a way of, of uh, um, I mean, you notice that on one by ones too. They, right. Different companies have different ways of spacing their emitters, but uh, yeah. And we chose the half grid because that is one of the most common diffusions that I use uh, with these lights. You figure basically you have all these emitters that are, are spread out. So what you're trying to get away from is the multiple shadows. Uh, but even though I can see the emitters through the half grid, mm -hmm. the fact that they're spread out behind a big piece of diffusion um, is like having a bunch of lights behind a bigger piece of diffusion. Yep. So I only really go to the heavier uh, full grid or, or to the... Uh, Shamira white or magic cloth uh, when I basically have way too many foot candles yep. and I figure I'll, I'll buy the last little bit of softness there. Yep. So. Yep. Yep. Uh, exactly. Yeah. You're, there's no windows around or whatever it is. Um, and uh, you just need to bring it down because yeah, you're working with a FS seven or something that's rated at 2000. And, and so, yeah. Uh, and that's really nice because then it's really soft. <laughs> okay. So then ballast wise, uh, I guess we learned that. Um... Well, you have to keep in mind, now we had our readings here were with the diffusion on and yeah. you're you know, looking at numbers on the ballast, whether they're marks or a digital readout. Right. And there seemed to be on a minimum of 300 degrees off difference between what the ballast were saying and what our meter was telling us, a spectra yeah. 700. So, we could probably attribute 200 of that to the diffusion. Yep. Just warms so, it up a bit. So then there's maybe 100 degrees. Maybe these things aren't so accurate. I mean, 100 degrees, most people wouldn't worry about. But right. uh, light meters or color meters haven't totally gone away in the sense that yep. not all of your ballast may be totally perfectly calibrated. No. And the Aladdin, I think, was more off than the, the uh, light mat uh, ballast. So, right, yeah. So uh, another... You definitely want to get your color meter out. Yeah. 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 Uh, which you have out anyway, because your existing light, uh, you know, you want to check what, what you're matching to. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, let's see, what other things are we? Well, it's mildly about? disappointing to me that the light mat eight plus isn't twice as bright as a four plus. Um, right. I attribute that to the fact that you're basically getting a softer light, but there's so much spread to it. Uh, that it's not like, uh, you know, putting a Fresnel behind a piece of diffusion or something and you've mm -hmm. got a soft light that's now just bigger in size and so it has more wrap in theory, but, I, you know, it's disappointing. I was hoping that it would be twice the output. It'd be interesting to put two fours on top of each other and compare that. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
at some point. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that was our uh, super scientific, uh, minutely uh, detailed... Uh, as scientific as we get around here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, contrasting these three units. So, uh, but yeah, pretty interesting. I've always wanted to do this uh, just because, you know, I have the Aladdins for, for travel, uh, but uh, the light mats are like so quick and, and, and easy to, to rig um, that... Uh, uh, I've always wondered, eh, should I go that way? You know, but um, there you go. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.